Hello YouTubers, this is a very quick video, hence why I'm filming it with my phone. Um, these are some speakers that came my way ages ago, and I put them into storage, and I dug them out today. Um, they look really unimpressive. Uh, they look a little bit like Wharfdale Dalesman speakers, but um, they're not. Uh, then I thought I'd open them up to see what's inside them. And... It has a rather nice 12 inch Wharfdale speaker in there um, from the 60s. So then I thought that must have the same, surely. So I opened that one up and. And it's a Wharfdale, but it's not the same type. This has uh, the red Alnico magnet that vintage audio enthusiasts really like. So at least one of these cabinets has been retrofitted with a different speaker but um, I'm wondering if they both have because the cabinets look to me like they've come from an old uh, radiogram type unit and um, I'm wondering if both of those speakers have been retrofitted but at least one has. So I've removed the drivers from the cabinets and they really are refined. Um, 12 inch drivers, the one on the left has a wizard cone, they both have the green felt surrounds that uh, Vintage Audio Buffs uh, know, mark these as noteworthy Wharfdale speakers. The one on the right has that lovely Alnico magnet, cast frames, yeah very nice. I've heard them up and running, they do sound good. The one on the left measures 10.1 ohms, that measures 10.9. So yeah, very desirable drivers. Obviously the moral of the story is, if you have vintage cabinets, no matter how cheap and nasty they might look, it's definitely worth cracking them open to have a look inside. Never know what you'll find. Uh, audio file, no, 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 no. One on the right has that lovely Alnico speaker, speaker, magnet. Let's do that again. 